Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to check out the content protection workflow uh, in the new Azure Media Services uh, Ibiza portal. So content protection feature uh, in Azure Media Services allows you to put either AES clear key encryption or DRM protection on your video asset. So first thing, when you enter your Azure Media Services account, you will click on Content Protection uh, tab in the setting blade. So here, you could be able to simply create a global content protection policy so that every time when you apply uh, encryption on your asset, this policy will be uh, applied to your asset. So first of all, it's how you want us to uh, authorize the key or license to your player. So you can choose either open, uh, which means whoever pings the key URL, they will be able to get a key. That's basically for testing phase that you probably want to do that. Or uh, token authentication. Uh, we support JSON web token or simple web token format. And you could easily supply us with all this uh, configuration, such as token issuer, token scope, or um, primary um, verification key and also claims uh, as optional. And we'll choose uh, open policy for uh, demo simplicity. So the second thing is if you want to apply play ready uh, content protection, here is a simple uh, rise template configuration allows you to configure either non-persistent license or persistent license uh, with a related um, relative begin or aspiration date. And also you could choose uh, allow passing video content to unknown output, for instance. So some of the easy configuration. And if you want to configure more complicated uh, player ready license template, you could use our API. And we also support Google White Fine uh, right, uh, right template uh, configuration. So you can have more uh, flavors of how you would want to uh, control the access of your asset. And we'll also choose basic um, as an example. And also Apple Fair Play uh, is coming into the portal for you to configure. So once the global setting is done, we can go to Asset Blade. And first of all, you will have a media file that has already been coded into multi-bit MP4. If you are less familiar with uh, video on demand workflow, such as how to encode a video file, uh, you can check out my uh, the other video, which talks about that. So let's say I already have a file that being encoded into multi-bit MP4, and encryption is no encryption at the moment, and you could choose to encrypt this file. So you can either do a yes, or let's say we want to do DRM. So currently, we support you to configure common encryption, uh, which allows you to do play ready and white fine with NPI dash protocol, or play ready only with all protocols at the moment. So let's choose um, a common encryption and click on apply. And now, what the portal is doing is to quickly apply a dynamic encryption for uh, your asset, and you can publish your asset for streaming as well by clicking on publish button and click on add. That was where you will get a locator that um, it is um, a protected uh, stream that getting um, played in the portal by clicking on uh, play button. So now there will be communication from the uh, portal to the license server to basically request the license and get it uh, played back. So simple enough, uh, within a few minutes, you could be able to configure uh, DRM protected content in this portal. And I hope you enjoy this simple experience. Thank you for watching.